Hi and welcome back everybody. I hope you all are having a great day out there. A couple things I want to do in this, what I believe is going to be a very important video. Number one, talk about the Ripple and SEC case. Talk about what happens if Ripple wins on all fronts because an article came out about this here today and we've got a legal expert that spoke on this and I want to put that out to you guys all in timely fashion as well as talk to you about something going on in the market right now that I believe is incredibly important for me to talk to you about. And, you know, I think that we all know, or most of us know, that the market is highly manipulated. We're not just talking about the crypto market, we're talking about the stock market and others. And that small retail, the likes of you and I, we do not dictate the direction of this market. However, based off historical facts, what's happened in the past can really help us decide or kind of figure out which way the direction of the market is going. XRP specifically is being suppressed in a big way right now. There's not a whole lot you and I can do about it as small retail, but what we can do again is point to facts that lead us to believe certain things are right around the corner and I'm about to point those out to you in this video. Guys, all I ever ask is if you do like talking about Ripple and XRP, you know what to do. Drop an X, smash the like button, share the video. Let others around this world know what is truly happening in this digital revolution. As first, I want to put out this. Fred Rispoli, which we've talked about him a little bit on the channel in the past. This is a lawyer who uh, commonly talks on the Ripple and SEC case on X. He's actually commented on some of the posts that I've put out. Uh, a well-known member in the legal industry. He posts an intriguing topic, and this came out of Crypto Newsflash that generated some heated debates among security lawyers and the wider cryptocurrency community. Rispoli, his inquiry focuses on the ongoing legal struggle between the United States Security and Exchange Commission, also known as the SEC, and Ripple, the firm behind the cryptocurrency XRP. Now, the odds of an SEC versus Ripple appeal. Can any security lawyers answer this question for me? He states, if there is an appeal and if Ripple wins on every issue over the SEC, aside from returning a $125 million penalty to Ripple, does the SEC have to pay statutory interest on that? This is very interesting and definitely something to consider because this is going to make it so that if this is the case, the SEC won't want to an appeal, won't want to do an appeal. Why would they want to an appeal if there's going to be a situation where they have to pay statutory interest? So Rispoli questioned the likelihood that S the SEC will appeal against Ripple, believing they're not going to. And if there is an appeal, Ripple will prevail on all issues. The SEC is going to be, and if they do prevail rather, will be required to pay that interest in addition to a $125 million penalty to uh, addition to repaying the 125 million penalty to Ripple. So why would the SEC want to do that or risk that when at, as it stands right now, they're looking at just getting a flat $125 million check sent to them and everything being completely over. So something very interesting to take a look at when we talk about will there be appeal or not, um, to me, it doesn't look like there's going to be one. Let me know in the comment section your opinions on this. But last night, guys, if you're subscribed to this channel, you'll know that we put out a poll. And this poll I put out was in regards to XRP, Ripple, the, the entire cryptocurrency industry as a whole, the markets as a whole, you know, asking, how do you guys feel out there? And these are the numbers that we got out of 1,100 folks, a little over 1,100. Basically, 89% together collectively said they're feeling pretty good. They're not looking to sell. Of those, 56% said they're staying strong. 33% said tired, but not flooded out, right? 5% though, now 6% said they didn't want to, they didn't have any kind of uh, result really. They just want to check the results, but 5% 
said that they are flat out giving up. Flat out giving up. And this is why I put as the title, this is effed up because as we know, again, going back to what I originally said, this market is highly manipulated. What do we know is to come short term? Well, we're looking at in September, a potential rate cut, which of course, if we get that and all indicators show we will, is going to help move up the market. October, historically, very good for the market. Q4, historically, is great for the markets. Now, normally, what we've seen in election cycles, normally a run up in the markets up into the election, and then generally thereafter a blow off top. So all of this collectively, as we know what's coming long-term, XRP ETF, Ripple IPO, Japan to go live in 2025, like that Japan to go live in 2025, RLUSD, we know what that's going to do for the ecosystem. All these things collectively that we have going on and folks out there are giving up. I am worried about this 5% because again, as I've said so many times on this channel, I do believe that getting into cryptocurrencies like XRP and others that really are here to stay, XRP is one of those that is here to stay, is going to be a life-changing opportunity for many out there. Now, obviously, this isn't financial advice, and let me know your thoughts and your opinions in the comments section below, but how often do you think you are going to get these opportunities when entire financial system is completely revamped, rechanged, and cryptocurrencies like XRP are put on your radar under a buck? Just not going to happen for many generations. I believe we are very lucky to be in on this opportunity, to be in on XRP at this particular time. Let me know your thoughts, your opinions in the comment section below. We'll see you all in the next one.